It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Tuesday, May 12th, 2020. Number one, as millions of Americans are still awaiting their stimulus checks, Democratic Senators Kamala Harris, Bernie Sanders, and Ed Markey are behind a new bill to pay many Americans $2,000 a month until the coronavirus pandemic is over. Americans making less than $120,000 are eligible in this bill, and no Social Security numbers or tax filings are necessary. Number two, as the United States Justice Department considers filing hate crime charges in the murder of Ahmaud Arbery, the Georgia Attorney General has taken an important step. Atlanta Area Attorney Joyette Holmes has been appointed as a prosecutor in the case against Gregory and Travis McMichael. The white father and son were charged last week with the murder and aggravated assault in the shooting death of 25-year-old Ahmad as he jogged in the Brunswick, Georgia area over two months ago. Number three, a recent analysis reports that new coronavirus hotspots are surging in rural and non-metropolitan counties across the country. This comes as the federal government pushes states to reopen their economies after weeks of stay-at-home orders. The pandemic spread into rural areas in states like Arizona, Nebraska, Oklahoma, and South Dakota. has been a concern of epidemiologists because unlike big cities' ability to bolster their health systems, rural systems don't have this capability. Number four. A new House committee headed by South Carolina Congressman James Clyburn is seeking the return of multi-million dollar loans made to publicly traded corporations. Over $650 billion under the Paycheck Protection Program were intended for small businesses. Of the 387 public corporations that received millions of dollars, only 12% or 48 companies have returned the money. Number five. A Wilmington, North Carolina area sheriff's deputy has been fired and charges are pending after leading an all-white armed mob to the home of a black family looking for a missing white teenage girl. The fact that they were at the wrong address did not stop the group from trying to gain entry into the home of an African-American woman and her high school senior son. Former Deputy Jordan Keita was reported to be off-duty, still in uniform, and armed when he went to the home of Monica Shepard demanding answers. The missing girl turned up later the same day. Join me today on Instagram Live at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central, and I'll discuss today's top headlines and more. And that's what you need to know. For more information, go to SybilWilkes.com. Sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed. Be empowered.